so welcome back to part 8 of this Dreamweaver series. So in this episode we're going to build the actual structure for the main section and the structure for the sidebar. So let's get on with it. So I've got the designer open here in Google Chrome at the moment. Now in the last episode we sorted out these three content boxes here. Now just underneath the actual links there's like a divider uh, that we need to add in from Photoshop. So if I just minimise this and if I just go to Photoshop and if I zoom in you'll see underneath the three links there's this uh, divider here. So if I open up the layers panel and it's probably a bit too faint actually so I'm going to bring the opacity up to 60% so you can see it a bit better now. So if I zoom out, you can see that that divides the two up and it's got a nice little fade effect on either side. So we're going to grab that out now. So you need to click on that, which I've already got it selected here. Right click, duplicate layer, add that into a new document. And it should be in there. Do image, trim, trim that off. And as you can see, here is our divider. Or as you can't see, because it's quite uh, transparent. So file, save for web and devices and then save that. So put that into the images folder and I'm just going to call this divider and save that. So now we can go back to Dreamweaver. So if we go into the index.html and we want to add this under the feature section 3 here. So we're going to create the following. So we're going to create a div with an ID and we're just going to call this uh, divider like that and then close it off and we can create a comment here just to say divider so we need to style this divider now so I'm just going to copy the name and then head over to the CSS and go start at the very top in the general styles so let's create a bit of space I'm going to add it underneath the remove margin right so it's an ID divider so we want to add in that background image so select background image and we're going to browse for it so in the images folder and divider is here like that and then I'm going to say background repeat no repeat and close that off and if we just make sure we save the index page so we need to give the actual uh, divider here a, a height and a width. So we just need to find out what that is. So I'm just going to back to Dreamweaver for a second, Photoshop even. And here, where we've still got that shape open, I'm going to do image, image size. So the height is 5 and the width is 960. So back into Dreamweaver. So here, I'm going to give it a height, 5 pixels. And we'll just leave the width for now. It should just expand to the width of the actual image anyway. So if we go to the, if you preview that in a browser, so just click the globe and click on your browser of choice. So as you can see, it is in there, but it's actually up here. So we want it to be down here. Now the reason why it's up here is because these have been floated. So this is now flowing underneath the actual uh, feature boxes. So we need to clear the float. So to do that, we just minimize the browser and if we go to index and then just here we're going to add in a div with a class and it's going to be clear left and then close that off and now if we go back to the browser that should bring it back down so as you can see at the very bottom well you can see it's moved from the top and it is now down here uh, so we've now got the divider in so the next thing we need to do is now look at the main actually, the main content boxes. So I'm just going to minimize this. So just below the div ID of divider, we're now going to start be, start creating the main content. So here we're going to create a div. I'm going to give it an ID. I'm going to call this main content. And then close it off here and create a comment. So main content. If I can spell content, that is, so main content, I like that. And then underneath the main content, we're going to create another div. And we're going to call this ID sidebar. And we'll close that off and add the comment. So sidebar, like that. So we just need to style these. I'm just going to tidy this up so they're next to each other. 
So we need to style the two containers now. So the first one is going to be main content. So I'm going to copy that and go into the CSS and come all the way down. And we need to create a comment actually. So I'm just going to grab this and then paste it below and call this main content. In fact, I'll copy this again and paste another one. We'll create some space. And I'm going to call this sidebar. So save that. I'm just going to go back and grab this so we don't get any spelling mistakes. So main content. So an ID main content. What do we want to do? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to give it like a width and a height. So the width of this is going to be, I just really can't spell today. Width is going to be 610 px. And we're also going to float this to the left like that. And I'm going to go to the index and I'm just going to copy sidebar, come into the main styles, and I'm going to create ID of sidebar. And I'm going to do a similar thing to this. So, width. Now, what's the width going to be? Let me check my notes. So, the width is going to be 280 pixels. And again, we're going to float this one to the left so they line up next to each other like that. So if we just see what that's done in the design, so if we go to design view, you can now see at the bottom here we have a box here called uh, main content and we have another one sat next to the left of it. If I can select it like that, I have sidebar. So if we just give some height on these just so we can see what's going on. So we'll do min height and we'll just say, I don't know, 400 pixels for now. I'll just copy that and paste it on this one. And if I go into here now, you can see some sort of structure taking place. Now, what I, what I like to do to see what's actually happening, because I add background colors to uh, sort of the structural elements. So background color, and I normally put red, just so I can see what's happening. Because at the moment, all we can see are just little dots, really, which doesn't mean much to me. So if I save that now, you can now see where the actual divs are and what's actually going on, the spacing and all of that good stuff. So what we need to do is we need to put some spacing in between the main content and this one and this sidebar. But there's something about something called a double margin bug in Internet Explorer 6, which is ridiculous. But anyway, when you float two elements next to each other and you put some margin on one of those elements, so say for example, like, like you see here, we've got two. We've got the the main div here, which is floated to the left, and this sidebar is floated to the left. So, if I was to put margin uh, left on this sidebar, it would kick it away, but it will double the margin. So, if I put say 20 pixels of margin left in Internet Explorer 6, it would be 40. So, that's just good old IE for you. So, a way around that, instead of adding margin left, we'll add padding left. And then that will then kick it away. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to add some padding left on the sidebar, which will kick it away. So if we go to the main CSS, so here we're going to say padding left. And that is going to be about, if we say, I don't know, 50px, just for now, see what happens. So as you can see, it doesn't look like it's done anything, but it has. Uh, it's because obviously we've got this color background. So if I... If you notice, actually, we've got a tiny bit more space here, so we can probably nudge it over a little bit more. So what we'll do is we'll give it some extra width here. So we'll put it to, say, 290. And as you can see, that's gradually creeping over. And if we do it a little bit more, so let's just say 300, see what that does for us. And if we look at that, so that's looking pretty good. So now, if I take off the color, because we're not going to have a red background anyway on the design, that's just purely for me for, to see what, what's happening. And now you can see it's all gone. Now, if I wanted to here inside of the sidebar, if I just open up a paragraph and say hello and then close that, you'll notice that it actually starts here. So it gives you the illusion of that uh, space in between them. Now, like I said, if we use the, the margin, it would have caused us no end of problems in IE6. Uh, so people still do use it. So you have to be careful for that one. Uh, so that's that in place, um, and I think we're pretty much good to go. 
So what I'll do, if I go to the main CSS, and I'm going to remove this red one here, save that. So we've now got the things in place. What we do need to do is we need to move the uh, main contain content and the actual sidebar away from that divider because it's right on top of it. If I was to preview this in the web browser, and if I hit refresh now, as you can see, here's our divider, and the hello is right sat on top of it. So like I said, we need to kick that away. So we can do a similar thing with that. We can use um, padding on the top, which will kick it down. So if we just minimize this. So on the main content here, we're going to say padding top of about 40px. And if we do the same on this one and save that and if we look at that in the in the web page the hello should now be kicked away as it is and you can now see uh, we've got the spacing in between that for what we need so I'm just going to go back into the into Dreamweaver and into the index and into the code and I'm going to change this just so we can see what elements are what so sidebar copy this and paste it in here and we'll just call this main content save that open this up and if we hit refresh as you can see now that the structure is starting to take place so what we'll do in the next episode is we'll start to add in the actual main content articles and then after that we'll do the sidebar articles and then the final stage will be to create that footer at the bottom uh, and then, like I said in I think a couple of episodes ago, I will create an episode dedicated to doing the tweaks uh, to the actual design. Uh, so that's about it. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave me in the comments below. Feel free to subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.